darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God you are higher than any other Our God is here Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are high Isang mapagpalang linggo po sa ating lahat at sa ating pong pagsusimula ng ating linggo ay sama-sama po tayong umawit ng papuri at pagsalamat sa ating Panginoong Yesus. The train of his robe fills the temple And we cry out high as Glory to the risen King Glory to the
mountain sand the sea Measured out the universe And you made me Echoes of the voice that called the worlds to be Reached throughout the ages and now speak to You're my creator king You who made the valleys and the skies Displayed your love on far horizons and before my eyes Dawn in time, called them all by name, and now you whisper mine. You're my creator, King. Who am I that you are mindful of me? You're my creator king You who made the darkness and the light Sun and moon to watch the day and guard the night Stretch the heavens like a canopy Reaches down to cover and watch over me You're my creator king Who am I that you are You're my creator king You're my creator king My creator king You're my creator king The King of Glory Coming on the clouds with fire The whole earth shakes The whole earth shakes I see His love Oh
Natuwa nga yung pandemic, um, lalo na naka one year na tayo mula nung nag-start yung quarantine. Papansin natin na nakikita yung iba't ibang division sa bawat isa. Merong mga naiiniwala na tatagal pa ang pandemic, ng, ng, siguro hanggang 2023 pa. Okay? May mga iba naman na naiiniwala na yung pandemic ay hindi totoo. Uh, at, at maraming mga iba't ibang uh, pagtutunggali pagdating sa debate about the pandemic sa vaccine is another debate well i'm not really here to discuss any of that the truth is right now uh, we are in another advanced type ng quarantine especially dito sa metro manila and we're also experiencing uh, let's just say more infections that's happening uh, in the philippines and with all the debate that's going on ang hirap kung sino ang paniniwalaan maaring tayo mas niwala pag tayo ay nagbasa ng ng uh, scientific facts or ng research maaring meron din tayong uh, paniniwala based sa ating experience or sa mga nakukwento ng ating mga akilala pero generally 
um, ang totoong pinaniniwalaan natin, apart from the authorities, if you want to choose, is really those people who we can connect with. At itong mga tao ay masasabi natin ating mga kaibigan. Dahil ang ating mga kaibigan ay ang mga tao na masasabi natin ang pinagdaanan ay similar sa atin, ang pag-iisip ay similar sa atin, ang kanilang uh, pagkitungo ay similar din sa atin. Eh, para lalo nating maintindihan, Kung ano nga ba ang naisabi ng Panginoon tungkol sa pagkakaibigan, let's use the, the perfect example that was uh, displayed in the life of David. And this is basically yung uh, buhay ni David at ni Jonathan, yung kailangang pagkakaibigan. The pattern of friendship they had. Um, there's, there's a lot that they've gone through, pero we'll see in 1 Samuel 18 verses 1 to 5 how their friendship was really established as it is stated in the Bible. So let's open our Bibles to 1 Samuel 18, 1 to 5. We can find our passage at 1 Samuel 18, 1 to 5. It states here, As soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was on him and gave it to David, and his armor and even his sword and his bow and his belt. And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him, so that Saul sent him over the men of war. And this was good in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. Kitang kita po natin sa verse 1 and verse 4. In verse 1, it states here that Jonathan was knit to the soul of David. Y yung souls nila are knit together. Yung kanilang mga kaluluwa ay, ay magkasama. Ito ay isang team. It states, it states in verse 4 na Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was on him and gave it to David and his armor and his sword and his bow and his belt. Kung ba kung ano yung meron si Jonathan? Yun din yung binigay niya kay David. Kung ang kalang mga kaluluwa ay knit to each other. Nakikita natin doon kung paano ang kanilang pagkatao ay magkasama. Ito ay magkatugma. And that's what friendship does. Ang totoo magkaibigan ay kahit na ano ang mga nangyari, may kita na there's a particular bond that is not just created by them, but this is really a knitting of their souls. And for our souls and our spirits, to be filled by the Holy Spirit, by our Lord God, that comes to show what kind of bond the Lord creates, especially in terms of friendship. It states in Proverbs 18.24, A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Later, I'll be talking to Mark and Marvin and Nino, and Marvin will be particular in, spe in specifying this verse. Now, there are people that can be closer than a brother. Ang expression natin sa magkapatid, uh, actually sa magkamag-anak, ay magkadugo. And ang pagiging magkapatid ay ang directly na talagang magkadugo. Uh, they're of the same blood. Ano ba ang function ng blood? Uh, basically, um, the, the function of blood in our body is so important. Kasi the blood is the vessel. Ito ang, kumbaga, ang, ang nagdadala ng nutrients, nagdadala ng oxygen all across our body, all over our body, na ang function ng dugo. Kaya important na ang dugo ay flowing dahil ang dugo ang magdadala ng nutrients, ang dugo ang magdadala ng minerals from one part of our body to the other. Kaya pag tayo ay kumain and then meron tayong nakuhang nutrition dito, kung saan dapat pumunta ang nutrition na yun, ay ang responsible ay ang blood. Because blood is the vessel that brings all the nutrients all over our body. So, yung sinasabi natin na kinakain na uh, different kinds of food para sa ating kutis, para sa ating mga mata, sa ating puso, sa ating isip. Um, even, even water. Um, when, when, we, when we drink water, it hydrates our body. And blood is the vessel that, that brings the, the hydration all over our body. Kaya ano ang ibig sabihin ng magkadugo? Ibig sabihin ang magkadugo ang magdadala ng message, ang magdadala ng emotion, ang magdadala ng learnings. Ang, this is basically having someone na kadugo mo, ito ay 
uh, in, in some way, it brings life. It brings life to your heart, to your emotion, to your spirit, to your mind. Yun ang nagagawa ng, yun ang nagagawa ng iyong kadugo. And the expression of having a genuine friend is deeper than blood. Ibig sabihin, mas mabilis ang pag-transfer ng learning. Mas mabilis ang pag, pag-learn natin. Mas mabilis ang ating understanding. Mas mabilis ang ating acceptance. Pag ito ay nagaling sa ating mga kaibigan. That is what a friend does. That is what having someone closer than a brother or closer than a sister that David, that, sorry, that, that Solomon is actually referring to. That is very important. Dahil who we surround ourselves with will be the people who will transfer learning, who will transfer emotion, who will transfer different things in our lives sa ating pamumuhay quickly. It states in 1 Samuel um, 8 and 5. Now, we, we go to the two verses in our passage. Uh, the, these two verses present how David was viewed like Jonathan is perceived by the nation. Kung papano ang pananaw ng mga tao kay Jonathan, yun din ang pananaw nila kay David, Dahil Saul, even if ayaw niya kay David, he had to take David in and he was more than a brother to Jonathan. So kahit ayaw ni Saul kay David, dahil sa gumahal ni Saul kay Jonathan, he had to take David in. Their friendship has bridged, has bridged the rivalry between Saul and David. Although talagang like, Saul and David have been rivals all, all throughout. May kita natin that Jonathan is the factor kung bakit si David in some way still got the experience of being a part of Jonathan's life as the prince. And in Luke 6.31, it states here, And you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Luke 6.31 is basically the golden rule. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Real friendship is mutual. Where you are to them as they are to you. Ibig sabihin, um, as it says here in Luke 6.31, it converts to friendship in a sense na if we are real friends, if I am more than a brother to you, then you will be, in return, more than a brother to me. Yun ang genuine friendship. Kung ano ang turing ko sa iyo, yun ang may turing mo sa akin. Because real friendship, genuine friendship, is mutual. So kung ano yung nais kong gawin sa iyo, dahil ikaw ay aking kaibigan, yun talaga ang consciously gusto kong gawin para sa aking sarili. And that is why genuine friendship, there is great understanding, dahil yung gusto kong gawin, nais mo rin gawin, at yung gusto kong matanggap, nais mo rin matanggap, and we are willing to share in that life together. In the next part of, of, of this segment, um, let me just share with you a, a time that I spoke to Marvin, Mark, and Nino to talk about friendship, to talk about ang paiging, paiging magkaibigan. So let's listen to that, that short conversation na nagkaroon ako with Mark, Marvin, and Nino right here. So good morning po sa bawat isa. I am with Nino, Marvin, and Mark. And today, Ang focus natin with David and Jonathan is really about friendship. Usually in the month of love, we keep focusing on the love between a man and a woman, uh, between husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, or any, any loving romantic relationship. But we don't get to focus so much on the love that happens between friends. So in this case, actually, so Mark, you know how much you have Marvin? How many years have you been with Since birth? Since birth? Where are you from? Crisolita. Crisolita. Okay, pa- paano kayo naging magkaibigan? Ano lang, sa basketball siguro. Basketball is basketball. Basketball. Anong bata kayo? Anong mga pre-school pa kayo? Anong mga nilalaro-laro niyo? Ano, mataya-taya. Matintero. Matintero. Wow, okay. Uh, eh, ngayon, nag-basketball pa rin ba kayo? Uh, hindi na ako since pandemic eh. Pero siguro kung may chance. Kung may pagkakaroon. Kung may laro ulit. Kung may laro ulit. Gusto nga namin eh. Ano, oh, yeah. kasi, 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 kasi,
nung bata pa tayo. Hindi man talaga sa basketball tayo na pag-bond. Kung naalala mo, saan tayo talaga na pag-connect? Hindi na magkaibigan. Yung Sunday school. Yung Sunday school na kami ni Kano. Ano na pa ulit? Hmm. Kasama tayo nun. So, kayong dalawa pansin nyo na magkaibigan kayo kung wala bata kayo. Pero umabot sa point na siguro yung mga bagay na hindi kayo nagkakasundo. Naalala niyo ba yung mga panahon na yun? Oh. Ano yung mga hindi na pagkasunduan? Hindi, yeah, kanyari ako. Kasi si Marvin ayaw maglaro sa liga. Kaya gusto namin maglaro sa siya. Ayaw niya talaga. Mm-hmm. Ayaw yung mga bagay na hindi naman namin kinahin. Hindi talaga na lang pagkasunduan. Ayaw niya kasi maglaro sa akin. Mm-hmm. Marami nanonood. Shy time. Shy time. Tapos, no, magkaibigan kayo. And then eventually, naalala ko, parang halos sabay lang kayong pumunta sa simbahan. At nadala kayo ni Kuya Alex. Pwede yeah, yung describe anong klaseng pagkakaibigan o relationship meron kayo sa kay, kay Kuya Alex siya sa grupo niyo ng time na yun. Bakit kayo magkaasama at bakit kayo magkakaibigan? Uh, ayun, yung band namin siyempre sa uh, Word. Sa, ayun, sa mga fellowship talaga pinatupod kami ni Kuya Alex nun sa amin. Puro Bible study. So, na-develop yung friendship namin lalo dun sa tabi na Sabihin yung magkaibigan ba, umabot sa point na ang pakinyo lang ay yung buhay ng bawat isa? Or yung nag-evolve pa yun? Opo, dumating sa ganun. Parang kunyari, nasa church kami, gusto namin kami lang magka- magpwentuhan. Kasi kami nagkakaunawaan eh. Hmm. Kami kawento ako sa kanya, nag-gets niya. Pag kinawento ako sa iba, hindi niya naiintindihan. Kaya saan ako nila kawento, dalaw na namin mag-uusap. Ito sa may itaw nino. Kung hindi nyo, nung, nung namalaki tayo, pansin mo na music is actually one of the one of the reasons kung paano tayo nakakawagpawan. So through the through the course of learning music, um, so tingin mo ani yung ani yung mga possibilities na create nung from singing, doon mm-hmm. mo, doon tayo nate. And eventually you're starting to learn the other instruments. So ani yung role ng friendship sa bagay na yon? Um, ang role ng friendship is because your sister is Ira, and kung ka parang isa ito sa mga naging inspiration ko kung kung pa, kung bakit gusto ko pang mas matibod sa example. Ayaw ko lang mistake sa drums. So, being a drummer is, kailangan ko matutong gitara and one of my idols for the country keyboard is akin mo. Kung ba'y siyempre, parang nagkaroon tayo ng uh, on the same page na yung akin mo is talaga ng keyboard. Eh di, why not na uh, gawin ko siyang instrumento para mag, ano ako, mag-aral ng one myself. Yung, yan, uh, yung friendship talaga naging isa sa mga key, key point kung bakit ako mas nag-evolve sa akin. Mas na-evolve sa akin. Marvin, nung nag-evolve na yung relationship niya ni Mark, meron bang verse sa Bible na ginagawa mong reference at least para mag-guide yung heart mo towards how friendship should be? Uh, actually, meron eh. Uh, Sige, po, pwede mo masahin. Masahin ko. Okay. Uh, sa Kawikaan, chapter 18, verse 24, uh, Tagalog na ibasahin ko kayo sila. Mm-hmm. May pagkakaibigang madaling dumami. Ngunit may kaibigang higit pa sa kapatid. Totoo ba yun sa inyo ni Mark? Siyempre. Uh, talaga nandun yung ano, na-develop yung pagkakaibigan namin ng throughout this years kasi ayun, parang hindi lang sa basketball yung band namin pero sa church, sa ministry mm-hmm. and talagang naging solid yung pagkakaibigan namin doon na si parang magkapatid na talaga. Pero ang sinabi di ba, higit pa sa kapatid? Pwede ko bigay ng example na nangyari sa inyo na may higing patunay sa pagiging magkaibigan yun na higit pa sa pagiging magkapatid? Um, marami, Kriyajel, eh. pero yung pinaka naisip ko sa akin, sa tanong mo, Kriyajel, yung ayun, talagang ngayon, dumaan ako sa uh, paano ko sa struggle, ganit. sa kanya ko lang na-open yun, kay Mark. Mm-hmm. And, pili ko, uh, Mark, ano din naman. Kaya, parang, higit pa yun sa parang kapatid na relationship. Yung maging open kami sa isa't isa, na exclusive lang sa amin. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Huh? Ikaw, Mark, anong verse naman or isang passage sa Bible ang ginagamit mong reference para sa baby mag-ibigay? Sabi po dito sa Kawikaan, Kabalatang Labing Pito, Kalatang Labing Pito, ang kaibigan ay nagmamahal sa lahat ng panahon at sa oras ng kagipita ay kapatid na tumuturo. So, kaya ito yung, ano, yung verse. Kasi merong pagkakataon po na, siyempre, ako ang nagigipin. Eh. Mm-hmm. Si Marvin, siya yung isa na labing na Group paper naman, ba may extra kang ganito. So doon, sa parte na yun, natutulungan niya ako. Tapos sa kabilang banda, pag siya rin may problema, kaya kailangan niya rin ng minsan tulong. 
bigayin lang kami kung sino meron. So, napakalagay talaga ng, ng relasyon namin. Although, dati kasi medyo nagkaroon kami ng ilangan kasi nag-iba kami ng landas, parang ako, nag-basketball, tas parang si Marvin, alam niya nang yung friend to Marvin, parang malis. Parang hindi kami masyado nagsasama. So, doon matigdin kami sa ganun, pero hindi naman yung naging, nung sumula nung magkasama ka nalit sa church, sa bike club kami sa Panginoon, ay doon mas naging matatag yung relasyon namin yeah. bilang magkakaibigan, parang magkapatid na talaga. Okay. Si Kuya Nino ay naging talagang kuya sa inyo. Ah, kuya. Diba? kuya talaga. Nagagabayan na kayo sa simbahan. And siguro like para sa inyong dalawa, ano yung naging role niya pagiging kuya? Ito ba ay parang isang kaibigan? Uh, or hinihiwal niya sa pagiging kaibigan? Kaibigan ba ang tunay niya? Uh, ako po para sa akin, magkaiba eh. Okay. Pag ano, pag kuya talaga, iba kasi si Kuya, pag si Church, si Kuya talaga. Ganun yung pakigutungo namin sa kanya kasi bigot na ako sa church. Mm-hmm. Para sa amin, pag nasa church, dapat respetuhin namin. Pero pag nasa labas naman kami, well to what, parang kaibigan. Kaibigan yung tulad. So nakatulong ba ang pagiging kaibigan ni Kuya Nino sa pagiging mentor sa inyo? Opo. Oo, so, mas naging komportable kami. Komportable kami kasi kung kuya type lang siya na uh, magdedelegate ang mga gabi namin, tutuwa na kami. Dalawa lang relationship na sa friend, siguro magiging deserve kami sa kanya. Pero ngayon dahil nga, kaibigan, as kaibigan namin, yung tinunod namin sa kanya. Mas naging okay ba? Pwede nyo bakit ang naging approach mo sa kanila ay pagiging kaibigan nila? Kasi minsan, pwede namang approach mo, tito ka eh. Diba? Pwede approach mo na ikaw yung kuya na nakahiwalay, ikaw yung mas nakakaalam. Pero bakit tinake mo yung approach na maging kaibigan nila para lalo nila, para sa mga palapit sa ito ng Panginoon? Kasi yung tigilan is, uh, Ang mas na, mas pin, mas pinigap ko pansin na alam ko pagkaibigan ang gagawin ko approach, parang mas bata ang feeling ko yeah. na nagigits niyo ako. Kasi ang laki ng, age, ng gap ng age namin pero hindi ko yung ginawang paraan para hindi ko sila ma, ma, hindi ko makuha ang puso nila. So bilang parang tropa lang, is parang para sa akin isang magaang, magaang approach para makuha ko yung ilo nila. And at the same time, marami kami mga Sabi ko yung basyo po lang, pinaka number one na dapat hindi ko bakit naga, nakuha ko yung doon nila. And bilang kuya, is talagang like, naipakita ko rin sa kanila na pagiging kaibigan ko is yung ibang, ibang level pero at the same time, andun tayo. Na hindi magkakalayo kahit na ano man ang mayayari, mas tandaman ako sa inyo na 20 years or what. Pero ang bilang pagiging kaibigan natin is ay kurga parang Hindi, hindi siya basa-basa kasi hindi mo maaalis ng pagiging kaibigan natin kasama natin ng Panginoon. Hindi ko yung talaga pwede niya tanggal na parang ordinaryo kaibigan. Hindi eh. Kaibigan niyo na ako pero we as a Christian is mas ibang level. Thanks kayo niyo. So that's basically the relationship na na-create within, like among friends. Na pag magkakasama ang mga magkakaibigan, umabot sa point na even higit pa sa kapatid ang tatal ng bawat isa, sa isa't isa. And make it that a relationship nila, it has actually, uh, it has lasted to the test of time. And at the same time, it also has uh, faced the challenge of an age gap that we need to actually see in sa kanila. So the Lord is really guides us sa lahat ng bagay na ito. And hopefully through the life of David and Jonathan, we get to see what kind of friendship really is. That it builds relationships, not just for two people, but how it actually builds a community through us. That was such a great conversation. Uh, I ako whenever I get to share my thoughts, when, I, when, when others get to share their thoughts then, uh, in return sa akin. In, in 1 Samuel 18.3, it states here, Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Nakita natin sa conversation ni Mark at ni Marvin yung kanilang experience. Um, parang maging magkapatid na nga actually like like it states in the verse na binanggit ni Marvin they became closer than brothers naging mas malapit sila sa isa't isa higit pa sa pagiging magkapatid uh, even my friendship with with Nino has uh, has basically survived the test of time and may kita natin sa uh, conversation ni Mark and Marvin it goes to sports it goes to the church it goes to the changes in their lives na ang kanilang genuine friendship ay nagdala sa kanya from one experience to the other where they consciously na sinasadya nila 
gawin ang mga gusto nilang gawin at sila ay tugma pa rin sa kanilang pinatutunguhan. That is genuine friendship. In James 5, verse 12, it states here, But above all, my brothers, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Integrity is key in friendship. In James 3, we find the importance of fulfilling our word, our vow, our promise. While in 1 Samuel 8.3, we see Jonathan getting the courage to make a covenant. So, sa pagkaibigan ni Mark, tsaka ni Marvin, and to a certain extent, ang pagiging magkaibigan namin, Nino, it comes to a point na we know integrity is important. In a genuine friendship, sa totoong magkaibigan, hindi natin hinahayaan na ang ating integrity ay mo compromise. One of the biggest reasons kung bakit ayaw natin makompromise sa ating integrity is because we fully know that we want to be with this person, with these people, with this community for a very long time or for the rest of our lives. Or we want to be a part of them or we want to be significant in their lives because we want to have that consistency that they can trust us. Knowing that we can be with some people When you are genuine to someone as a friend, pag tayo ay totoong kaibigan ng isang tao, aabot sa punto na sisiguraduhin natin na ang lahat ng ating sinasabi ay isang covenant. Lahat ng ating binibitawan na pangako, na panata, tungo sa ating kaibigan ay maiging isang covenant. Just like what Jonathan was to David. Si Jonathan, he made a covenant with David. And David, in return, made the covenant with Jonathan. And it states in, in John 5.12, your yes be yes and your no be no. Sa paging magkaibigan, that is sacred. That is sacred. Sometimes, that's even more sacred than our motto. Sometimes, that is more sacred than a contract that we sign. Dahil ang usapang magkaibigan is deeper than blood. Higit pa sa pagiging pagkal sa pagiging magkadugo. To vow to David as his own soul, this is Jonathan, because genuine friendship gives you the courage to make promises. So, kung ikaw ay totoong kaibigan, ikaw ay magkakaroon ng tapang. Ikaw ay magkakaroon ng, ng confidence, ng courage to make promises. Dahil alam mo sa pagiging magkaibigan, ito ay tutuparin mo. Tutuparin mo ang mga pangako, ang mga panata mo sa iyong kaibigan. And that's what true friendship is. Through the course of our lives, we meet a lot of people. May kita natin that it is important for us to hold our integrity in that. But sometimes, alam din natin na minsan, we just choose who we want to be with. The truth is, When you are much younger, mas gustuhin mo na marami ay yung mga kaibigan. Pero habang tumatagal, ma-realize mo na may mga bilang na tao na genuine na masasabi mo tunay mong kaibigan. Na magkakaroon ka ng mga kasama na tunay na magiging kasama mo sa mga iyong pinagalaban sa buhay. Ako, isa sa mga definition ko ng friendship, um, although hindi naman siya sobrang literal, It is, if I can rely on you to pick up the phone, when you hear it, ring at 3 a.m. that you will pick up the phone. Considering ikaw ay making willing to give your time sa panahon na alanganin, sa panahon na mahirap, that you are going to give your time, you might not have the solution para sa akin. But for me, that is one of my examples of genuine friendship. But as we see in the Bible, what we see in in, basically in, in James is that we just have we just need to have that integrity. And what Jonathan and David did, and what they showed, is that the integrity nila is intact. And pag ikaw ay tunay na kaibigan, may hindi madalek mga ako. Na alam mong tutuparin mo ang pangako yun. That's how Christ is to us. 
Christ is a genuine friend. And one of the sad parts is Christ wants to be our friend. So He will be genuine to us. He will be giving to us. He will be generous to us. He will be loving. He will be patient. But sometimes we are not to our God. There are a few things that we can take from today's word. Isa sa mga yun is to understand who's our true friends. But at the same time, there is a friend who is there every time. Whose presence is there every time. Whose grace gives us salvation. Whose grace gives us a reason to move forward. Whose forgiveness forgives us even before we ask for forgiveness. You know why? Because to the Lord, real friendship, genuine friendship is always healthy. And when you forgive, there is healing. When you encourage, there is strength. And when you nurture, there is growth. May we learn that our Lord God is there to be an example of a true friend even if we are not genuine to our Lord God. Even when we fail, and let's use that as an example to be a friend to our genuine friends. So take the time to look to your friend. Text your friend. Call your friend. Chat with your friend. Find a way to contact your friend and show your friend the kind of genuine love the Lord gives you every day. And what is wrong with saying that you love your friend every single day? Just to show how you want your friend to also show you love every day. The way the Lord God, Jesus Christ, gives us love and genuine friendship every single day of our lives. God bless. Have a great day. Hello everyone. We hope that you are blessed with the praise and worship songs and the word of God today. Mahigpit din po nating ipatutupad ang social distancing at ang pagsusuot ng face mask at face shield. Mahalaga po ang ating kooperasyon para sa patuloy na kaligtasan ng bawat isa. Para sa mga nagnanais dumalo sa ating lingguhang pananambahan at sa ating mga katanungan, maaari po tayong makipag-ugnayan sa mga sumusunod.